again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. We're approaching our second week of survival as our survivalists, our colonists, our people are going around and getting some remaining jobs done before we go out and adventure further past our already growing border. So it's good to see everybody here. Glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section if you haven't already. And make sure that you click, tap, blow up that like button. Our first video on the uh, previous series got well over 12,000 likes. So it's awesome to see just so much support and positivity around this game as it's getting even better every time. We're closing in on some new territories here. Looks like there's some cities and other areas to pass through. So we'll see uh, if we find some really good worthwhile materials out there. Meanwhile, we're going to be focused on trying to gather some more materials here, including our lovely sawmill that just completed that we're going to expand and try to cut down all the trees over here so we can start our farming too and start growing things like soybeans, cabbage, carrots, and so much more. We're also going to build our Arby's over here. That's right, our cookhouse, which will allow us to prepare meals and make much more of our already uh, scarce food. Looks like the specialists are ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they're ready to do. We can go and fight some of these, uh, I guess these, uh, what would you call them, bandit camps? I, I guess they're kind of like their own little tribes now. Oh, well, the Wolfgang Lair. Interesting. There's a little difference now. There's Wolfgang Outpost, but the Lair itself Actually, if it's destroyed, we'll reveal a special location. Interesting. Well, let's try to go past their lair and see if we can go down here. I don't know if they'll ever leave their camps. It seems like they don't. But I'm just curious to find out what else there is around here. Wow, 46 components. That might be worth going uh, down to check out. Now, I wonder, if we destroy the Wolfgang's lair, does that mean that it'll... It says reveal locations in this sector. I wonder if that means... It'd be kind of cool if it revealed all locations of Wolfgang outposts and then, like, uh, what materials were there. But I think it'll just show us a secret thing that's hidden within this territory. So, anyway, let's keep on a trucking. And thanks, as always, for clicking and tapping the join button as well next to the subscribe button. A lot of people helping out Raptoria and helping us to grow by taking that extra step even further. Mm -hmm. So thanks to all of you for your support. Okay, so it looks like we're running a little low on berries, which is kind of good because we're trying to get all these bushes out of the way just so we can uh, clear-cut forests and make room for construction and additional uh, materials and things like that. And uh, buildings and structures that we want to use in order to grow. Food is good. Water is very good. Uh, concrete's a little low, but I think it's coming in. And we still have a large concrete ruin here that our people still need to gather from. We just need more and more helping hands in order to do it. We need more people at our city. So here's our uh, giant entryway. We saw it before. There's uh, kind of a way... Well, actually, wait a minute. If you kind of look at that, you can kind of see something up in the corner there. Oh, it's a tunnel. Interesting. So people have to come out of a roadway tunnel, then across a uh, moat here in order to get to our uh, gate. So it's really going to be hard for anybody to attack us unless they have authorization. All right. Well, let's get back, I guess, to our world, and we'll wait... I'm going to play on a higher speed. I want to do more moves with the specialists. They're the only ones really going to be able to bring in materials now as where it's just kind of uh, business as usual down here at the city as we're just gathering basic resources. You know what I'd like to do now is cut a few of these jobs for the scrapper and for the, uh, uh, for the plastic recycler because we have plenty of those materials and I want to give some extra jobs to just uh, basic resource gathering. Well, let's head south. Pharmaceutical, oh, hospital there. Pharmaceuticals there, antibiotics, important. And a plashed, ooh, a uh, crane, a crane, yes, a, a, a plashed crane, yes. <laughs> we have a we have a plashed crane here, and that's going to definitely uh, be something that we're going to need to get components from. Yes, the plane crash there is quite deadly. A jetliner crash site, uh, defense one, components are available there, 40. Yeah, definitely we're going to need some of those to make electricity and uh I guess there's batteries and also some buildings that require components in order to consume electricity, too. And I don't think those are something we can make. Components we can't make, electronics we can't make, and fun boxes we can't make at the moment. But parts we can by taking uh, extra junk that we get from uh, metal. Wait a minute. Oh, we got survivors here. That's top priority. Awesome. We've got two adults, one children. It almost feels like we're taking orders, you know, like at a restaurant. Uh, looks like we have Donna here who is a pretty good explorer, very good at leadership, effectiveness in the colony, coming soon. So there's going to be some benefits to keeping uh, specialists inside the camp, too. That's going to be awesome, because then that might be able to make people more effective, or if there's disease, like they're a doctor, perhaps disease will be cured faster or spread less likely. That's cool. All right, let's welcome our new people, then. Awesome. And now Donna can go out and do a little uh, recon. Recon Donna. 
Comes with everything you see here. Batteries not included from Mattel. Okay. Let's have her go up to the upper west side here. And we'll head back to uh, Raptoria until the other two are ready to move. Now, I have these buildings on pause. These are our tool sheds. We're going to need to start finishing those up now. And our tailor as well to make clothes. Especially clothes because, actually, you know, the tool shop probably not as important at the moment. But we'll still need to make something from that. It's amazing how quickly tools gobble up metal. In the previous version, tools were got, uh, gathered up from two to one. So it would be two metal to make one tool. So it would take a while. All right, we're going to keep scouting here. It's a little too dangerous, I think, to go over to... Uh, this site because first we've got to fight them and then the site itself has some uh, we got to basically do two battles one against the bandits and then the other one uh, hello that's where we want to go let's go for the research site first we'll come back for the jetliner later let's roll our dice over there okay move into the next sector so we'll have Donna move north looks like there's a fairly large city up here I don't know if that's going to be any benefit to us if there's more likely to find a rare something or other there but we're going to go and check it out anyway because we're exploring for the first time and we're not really sure. Okay, we still have our people gathering random materials. There we go. We definitely want to gather more uh, wood and concrete. Especially more concrete now. But things are going okay so far. And construction is getting complete. We'll finish up the cookhouse now too. And it looks like one of these stockpiles is fully uh, filled up. Probably with metal. Almost 200 metal. That's great. Developers have made some good changes there to make sure we get more metal, or we've just gotten lucky this time around, but I don't feel like I've ever gotten over 200 metal. Usually, four, like 40 or 50 metal is, like, mind-blowing. All right, let's see if we can still gather some materials here. Looks like we're set to gather all sorts of materials. Specialist ready for action. Awesome. All right, Lancaster, let's go ahead and uh, roll the dice. And there he goes. He got out on skate. Now, let's have our other boy, Mugga, come over. And it looks like he's taking a little damage, but that's fine. Still plenty of research gathered from that. Uh, if these guys get down to about 40, I'm going to pull them back and uh, heal up at the base. But eventually, I hope we can get them to heal at outposts, which are what we're going to try to build here in the next coming episode. I'm going to try to keep things moving along quickly, so if in the next few episodes I just jump ahead, just keep in mind, we've seen a lot of these basics before at this point. And uh, the first couple episodes are just to kind of update everybody on what's new. And then I think we'll uh, skip ahead a bit to show what's new late game. Because there's really good uh, early game new stuff and late game stuff. But mid game is kind of just uh, whatever you find on the world map. So let's go for, let's see. We could go for crops. That seems good. Uh, junk recycling is good too. I think what I really want to do is produce electricity. And uh, if we do that, I need to go, uh, let's see, we can make junk recycling but then I want to do something else like for example oh education might be very important actually with all the kids that we have so far to increase our late game productivity let's go for education right now we'll go for the communal living and the education and then we should be able to get a little bit more uh, health in order uh, uh, research points so long as those guys health holds out and we'll go down for the hazmat engineering uh, but actually, I shouldn't have done that. In retrospect, I should have went energy production one, then junk recycling. But we'll still need more components regardless. So we won't be able to really do that until we've actually gathered components from the jetliner and then brought them back. So it'll be a little bit until we do that. So I guess any order is okay. It all comes down to the components. Uh, we still have a specialist ready for action. Don is ready to kick some butt. Go, Don. So it doesn't seem like the bandits uh, chase us. There's the wolf gang lair. And then there's a the wolf gang here, too. Hmm. Okay, so we can have more than one gang. So far we found the wolf gang and the dead rats, and then I thought we saw another gang somewhere, but... Alright, let's continue on. Good to have three specialists, though. Always uh, great to accept more people so you can get the specialist. Okay, we need to make some firewood here. We're gonna get rid of that person until we've got firewood. Which means we need to make ourselves a firewood gathering center, which is the logging camp. So we'll put the logging camp uh, maybe up here, too. And we'll tell him to start cutting down from this forest as well. Uh, a beast is at the gate. Oh, dear. A massive mutated deer is stalking around the gate. More than two meters tall and four meters in length. It looks very aggressive. It'd be safest to just shoot it with bows, but trapping it first would ensure that all its meat could be left unspoiled. Well, if we shoot it, we'll probably get less meat, but if we trap it, somebody could get hurt. Well, let's try to go for the meat. Let's see what happens. Yep, two colonists are injured. That's totally fine. 29 meat for that, though. That is cool. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got enough room at the the old medical tent. There we go. 
So two people can get healed up right away. That was worth it. Okay. Some suit, some really cool new events coming up from uh, people, uh, I guess, just randomly uh, just telling you, hey, something's at the gate. Let's go over here now. Excellent. We've got some more components now. This guy should be able to go through a few times. We're going to try to bring back some components now and get that electricity up and running. And then we're going to have Donna scout further north to see if there's anything worth it on the other side of this, like, giant marsh. Wow. A timber mill inside the city. Probably just on the outskirts there. What is that little green thing there? Looks like a bunch of umbrellas or something. Maybe giant mushrooms or something? All right, we will definitely need that wood, though. 73 lumber there. That is awesome. Very good. We need more concrete. So hopefully our people will gather some of that soon enough. Not doing too many crazy construction projects at the moment, but it will be needed soon. And hopefully that will give us some time to gather it up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, plastic and metal and uh, fiber are all doing really good. So concrete is really our only, uh, I guess, shortcoming right now. And this one uh, stockpile is requiring that, so hopefully they bring it over soon enough. All right, logging camp is complete too, so that means we can make more uh, firewood for the cookhouse. So we'll get up a little bit of storage. We'll be able to see by hovering over planks how much firewood we've made. Right now we have two, and I believe one of our explorers also has some on him. Uh, I thought so. Yeah, 28 on uh, murder. Murder here. We're going to call him murder. All right, let's go for another run. Okay, now he's down to 40, so we got to bring him back. A little too dangerous now. And I think we're just going to come on back with what we got. Try to get that uh, electricity up and running. All right, so these two are going to... Wait, is this cleared out? It is completely cleared out. No, there's 10. When it is cleared out, though, we'll send them both back. And I think, actually, I forgot about Donna. Sorry, you're so far north, I forgot. Don't want to forget her, though. She's the one with all the uh, capability at the lumber mill. So she's taken 38. And that leaves 35. So one more run. And then, actually, we can scout this way, too. It'll take a little longer, but it'll be worth it. Well, let's change up the music again. Let's go for Skylight Radio. A little more upbeat on this one. All right, water seems to be doing really well. We've got over 1,700 in storage. I really feel like that's not enough yet at the moment. And uh, we could probably move our uh, berry gathering around a little bit too. So let's check out our uh, yeah our work area there. This looks like it's gathered up all the berries. So it looks like it's about time. Getting pretty close. We can do another uh, area there for us to do some big old crazy farming. That's right. We need some more people though to do it. And uh, that's just going to require... Oh, somebody's injured. It's going to require us to do a little bit of uh, land clearing, like I mentioned. But also, we need to make sure we've got uh, more people here to, to get to work. All right, boys. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll have you swing in one more time. Good. And the two of you can start heading north. Bring that stuff back. So one with firewood and 20 components. The other one with 20 components. So 40 components in total is great. So we got some more metal here at the hangars. Okay. Not really, like, critical to have that, but now that we're making tools, it's pretty important. And we need some more survivors at the gate. So hopefully more people find their way through the tunnel and into the town. Uh, let's see. What do we have for housing? We have 19. So we still have more than enough housing. Although it's not the best housing, it is definitely a good for the number of people coming into the camp. Or at least welcoming for new people. Plenty of room. All right. Yeah, we should... Yeah, we, ha we actually have our road going pretty good. You can build a road to almost everything in the game, but it's definitely not necessary. But in anticipation of what we're going to have to do here in the future, which is a graveyard, I'm going to go ahead and get ready with that. And then we're going to build the school as well. Going to put the school by the old sawmill so we can get these kids uh, raised right. I'm actually going to build two of those because... Uh, each holds 10 kids. Looks like we have five at the, at the ready right now. So, whoa, oh, I meant to pause, but uh, they can fill up really quickly when you start accepting more uh, more people. All right, Donna, go ahead and grab another, another pack there. So she's going to come down to that other site next and explore what's there. Oh, I forgot about our two boys. Come on north, you two. There we go. Looks like you can move one more. That's weird. He can't move here. It looks like it is a mountain, but you'd think he'd be able to walk right through there. 
And let's go. Let's see. I guess we'll just head right back to camp with both of them. Don't want to lose anybody. All right, back to it then. Insufficient materials for the school. Looks like we're only missing the concrete now. And actually quite a bit of wood. How are we doing on planks? Or rather, firewood. Firewood is at 10. When we get somewhere around like a couple hundred, we'll shut that down. But we need more people to work on... Uh... So I wonder if we could do food production now. Actually, we might be able to do a... If we do a high-level meat meal, we might be able to make fish out of that. A mixed meal includes... I think it also counts for fish, too, a mixed meal. And uh, vegetables. Oh, although I don't... We're not actually growing any potatoes yet, so we wouldn't be able to do that. Let's just try to head up north. And we'll kind of uh, avoid all these local buildings that we don't need. We don't need the fiber of the plastic, so that's fine. All right, Donna, come on back down. Scout through here first, and then it's a beeline right back to base. Okay, it looks like there's more dead rats there. So it seems like maybe two levels of aggression that we've discovered so far, the dead rats, seem a little less scary than the other ones, like the wolf gang. But we'll see eventually when we fight them uh, more uh, frequently. We'll see how it goes. Hey, we only have two people gathering. I don't think we need any tools at the moment. Let's shut down the tool maker. I'll keep clothes going. And uh, food is pretty important, so we'll have to keep that going. And let's go ahead and assign a person to... Actually, let's do a meat meal. Fish is counted as meat, so that's good. All right, so we can make some fish stew then, since we're gathering so much fish. So that'll give us a little bit more food now, now that we're producing the extra... Uh, firewood. Actually, let's make sure we get another logging camp. Ah, uh, we need one person at least to truck things around. Okay, let's go for straight back to Raptoria. Glory to Raptoria! Here we come, boys! One more ready to go. Alright, let's try this. 35 metal there. Ah, I think we'll head, head on back with the 73 wood. That way we only have to focus on the concrete. You know what would be nice is, it's, is there a way to sort allowed resources? Hmm. I wonder if I turn only concrete on, if they would gather more concrete by going out and doing that. It'd be nice if you, if you set a work area, if you could just also say gather only concrete, even though you would allow anything to be stored there. It'd be nice to just uh, fiddle it by uh, work area versus storage type kind of nice. Well, at least one of them is already stored up. Completely full. So that's good. It looks like we got a little bit of concrete left, too. So we'll be able to finish up that school, and there's our look at the school. Awesome. Alright, so we got ourselves five students. It now holds ten. And we've got a pandemic coming. Alright, that means we're going to need some hospitals to get ready for the unfortunate wave of disease that will be coming our way. Should be able to prepare for it. Heat wave was not too much of a problem. The pandemic should uh, be the same. Gonna send both of our people back here for rest. Actually, all three are coming back. Awesome. Let's see. We're gonna have Donna go uh, west now. It's a good idea to kind of do a circle around the base because you never know what is in the closest spot. So we'll try to send our other boys east together. Oh, and there's a group of survivors at the gate. Fantastic. With three adults, three children. Good. I'll accept that. Oh, and we have a new uh, person, Ken Sai. Uh, very good attack. Oh, good. Uh, not very good at scavenging, though. But All right, perfect. She'll be, our, uh, she'll be like our uh, spearhead. She'll be able to go in and uh, do some damage to the enemy uh, before we go in and like uh, clear them out and uh, take all their stuff. So she'll be tip of the spear like uh, special forces. Cool. Raptorian Special Forces. Awesome. Okay, let's put a medical tent here. Eh, I kind of wanted to scoot that back a little more. Let's try that one, one more again. We're going to do that one more again. There we go. All right. Specialist ready for action. All right. So Ken Sai. I'll wait till everyone else is ready. Check back here so we can do it all at once. All right. Construction complete of another medical tent. So with our uh, unfortunate uh, circumstance on the way, we will uh, prepare for that. Looks like we're just waiting for Munga to be uh, fully healed. Just a little bit longer for him. It'd be kind of cool if the camp conditions are what really uh, helped them to heal. Like, if, for example, you had a really nice medical setup that they would just be healed almost instantly once they came through. Okay, we're just waiting for him to heal up and get his moves back. 
We have three medical tents almost ready. One final one being under construction. And seven of the school kids are now in school. You can see why I wanted to build another one. So build another one here. And then let's build a burial site over here somewhere. Let's try doing, uh, let's do it over here. There we go, somewhere out of the way. We will have people die eventually. At least from what I've seen, knock on wood, I haven't seen the door glitch anymore where people are getting stuck in doors and then not able to eat anymore and are starving to death or dying of exhaustion, so that's good. Okay, let's start sending everybody off in different directions. Let's have uh, Team Broskis head east. There we go. Oh, nice. Good job, boys. The boys found a uh, museum. Excellent. And let's have Team Girl Power move west. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, looks like Mugga can move one more block. There we go. Well, I don't like this music. This is too poppy and cheery for me for the uh, apocalypse. So let's go back to Radio Armageddon. Uh, especially because we have a uh, pandemic on the way, boys. Shouldn't be too long until that arrives. Pandemic is coming in one day. And we got to get farming going, but I'm trying to clear out this forest as soon as possible. That's really the best area for us to uh, to work in. And what I could do is actually work on this side for... Oh, wait a minute. we got bandits here. Blackmail. Uh-oh. Four clothes. Uh, let's trade clothes for the one colonist. The guy's not ours, but at least now we have an extra set of hands. All right. Let's build a trapper over here. It's right in the middle of the woods. Let's go for... Where is that food? Ah, there it was. Trapper number one. Perfect. And we'll build them out here. And we'll probably leave this woods uh, alone then until we start logging. And once we get enough food through, like, fishing and whatnot, we'll, we'll try to do some other stuff and see if we can move that out of the way. All right. Team Broskis, go, go, go. 200 research. Awesome. Then let's hit another... Hit it up again. Give that remaining 150. Actually, there's 188 still in there. Oh, no, 38. Okay. 464 now on our total research. And we do have components at camp, so uh, but we will probably have to make some parts at some point. Uh, there's the... Oh, the Ripper's Lair. Looks like another type of clam we've discovered. The Ripper's. Nice. Okay. So let's go back there. And that reminds me of Days Gone. I thought that was a cool game. Really cool post-apocalyptic mm. game. Certainly wasn't like the best game ever created, but it was a game I really liked. I was happy I played it. Certainly glad I didn't like scoff it and then just not and then miss out. I'm gonna go for uh, energy production one, then junk recycling, so that way we can make parts out of that. Then I want to go for uh, hazmat engineering, so we can clean up some of this land and then make room for farms. And then let's try anything else. Nope. You know, 64 is not enough points to do that. No go. Looks like we have a burial pit, too. Nobody needs to work there, though, until we have mass death. Let's also go for a medical tent here. There we go. We'll kind of just make medical square over here. We'll call that uh, Red Cross Blue Shield. Okay. Trapper's ready to go. Looks like he's doing some good hunting. I wonder if you can see how effective it would be. Oh, work area effectiveness. If I move him there. It looks like his current area is... Yeah, he's, a, he's effective there. All right, the pandemic begins in just a day or two. Hey, food has really increased. Excellent. Water we could use a little bit more of. But now that we're uh, cooking the food, that's a good thing. All right, here comes the pandemic. Kind of laughable, to be honest. The pandemic, so long as you have enough medical tents, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it too much. I'll put everybody but one into uh, the medical department. Uh, let's see. Let's have... Mugga, you go there. And we will have... Uh, Lancaster go over here and see if he can spawn anything there then we'll try to move south oh that's the end of the line okay we'll have him do the next two scouts all right girl power let's see what you got what do you got Ooh, a helicopter crash with antibiotics that would have been good a little while ago but too late to really bring it back and make use of it with the current pandemic on the way let's go over here and see if we can scout well, she has two moves left. How come you can't? How come I can't scout this land here? That's weird. Huh. There should be a, no reason why she can't scout that. It's hard land. Weird. 
All right, well, let's go back to base. We'll go elsewhere. If we can't go through there, we'll go north with the ladies and see what we can do. <clears throat> let's see. We are approaching the end of the pandemic, I, I feel. And uh, I'm not seeing anybody really sick at all. We don't have any medicine, but the uh, medical tents are still able to heal anybody. It's not like zero medicine equals death. It just means that uh, they can heal faster. Looks like we got two sick with the capacity of... Uh, six right now for healing and the other medical tent needs to just be built looks like uh, concrete's really not coming in as I was hoping all right broskies look south Ooh, another plashed plashed crane we got another plashed crane down there and the headquarters of the rippers interesting okay let's head back to team lady fam and let's go north and can she? Maybe she was out of moves. Is that it? Uh, it's, she's blocked. Oh, 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 oh. What is this? We have a town. Ladies and gentlemen, we've discovered another town. Little Anvil. Hell yeah. And uh, Kensai is our fighter, too. So let's get her into position to kick ass. Oh, hell yeah. I want to go see what's up with this other town. So, Wasteland Nomads. Uh, a ragged group of bandits without proper goal or leadership. Well, hell. Oh, here we are. Uh, see the current trade options from the trade menu. Oh, trade menu. Um, is this what they're offering? It looks like they're offering medical, uh, sorry, metal, scrap, and uh, parts. Well, that kind of makes sense for being called Little Anvil, I suppose. Reputation 50, travel time 3 days and 13 hours. We'll have to see if we can stop in there or if we establish a trade route. Not really sure, so we'll have to play a little blind, but it'll definitely be worth it. We do have 102 research points now. I think we'll hold on to those for now. And uh, let's try to get this last building done. And it is on pause, so should be going. Uh, I think all colonists are infected. 35 water. I think we also used more water during a pandemic. I'm not sure. I thought it used to be that way, but not too concerning if we, uh, if we need to uh, redo it all. Oh, everybody's in the hospital right now, so we don't we don't have all the workers we need. Oh, uh, I hate to pull away from the fisheries, but let's just do it temporarily. It's alright, we'll still have to send around other stuff. Okay, let's send our ladies in there. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can actually move into the city, but it does say to see the current trade options from the trade menu. Now, I wonder if that means we have to build a trade center then or something. We'll see. Okay, there's some bugs there. We can use those for food. If we're desperate enough. And also food there. Well, hell, let's go to the diner. Plus, there's 41. 88 bugs there, though. And let's see. Ew, well, I think we can go to the... Pl I don't know if I want to go to the plane or look around for more stuff. Let's try... We'll get it on the way back. Let's go into enemy territory. Looks like there's some metal there. Not too important. But definitely worth stopping. And food there, too. Alright, the food is a freebie giveaway. Considering the fact that the... Uh, oh. Yeah, a lot of people... Uh, looks like uh, planks are def defective here. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see with our explorers what we can do in just a moment. Oh, good. Looks like all the medical tents are up and running. Not all of them are full, so everybody who's sick shouldn't be standing around ch chatting. You guys should be in the hospital. I mean, uh, I'm no doctor, but might be a good idea. All right, we still have no carriers left. I'm going to shut down food production for a bit. Uh, a couple is arguing. Oh, about school, right? Have the children educated. We already have a school. Send your kids to school. We have openings. <laughs> That's an easy solution. All right, let's see. All right, let's grab that, grab that grub, boys. All right, good. And then let's see what we've got here. Any more? There's eight more. And then we could probably keep heading east. Wow, almost to the edge of the map. But there's still lots to do. Uh, each area that has a bandit lair on it might have a secret building underneath it. So it's uh, going to come down to fighting. And speaking of which... Let's fight uh, with these guys and see if we can unlock. Uh... Wait, what the hell? Oh. 
Ah, there we are. All right. Get him, girl. I keep zooming in because I want to see the fight. Oh, damn. She just beat the hell out of him. Good work. All right. Well, there is a manufacturing building there. So that's good. That's free tools for us. That'll be useful. So we'll swing by the tool shop. Then we'll grab stuff from the diner. Take a peek at these three and then maybe head back to camp. Man, I thought the pandemic would be over long ago. We have more than enough space for everybody. There's uh, literally nobody in the hospitals. Okay. We've got a uh, burial tent over there that's not even used. And it passes. Fantastic. Which is great because now we can get rid of all these people in the medical tents. And really only just have like one person working. Or two in this case. I guess there's another person there. All right, let's get everyone else back to work. Start making all that food. Seems to be a glitch in the game where the music won't play. After a pandemic, let's see if we can get that kicked on again. There it goes. All right. Looks like we're all good here. Um, before we go and check our specialists, let's just reassign all the jobs here. Oh, oh okay. And anybody who's free, I guess, can go on resource gathering. All right, ladies. Grab whatever you can. Gonna take both of you. Okay, it looks like the tool shop still has eight inside. And the food. Cleared out now. All right, we'll have Lancaster go over to the east. And there's a component shop. Excellent. A electronics store. Hell, we can take that without a fight. And there's 25 there. And the aircraft has 36. So we're going to be really good when it comes to gathering and producing electricity. And uh, storing it as well. Food. Let's get that back up and running. Should be able to make some more grub there. And it looks like the forest is being cleared relatively quickly. So that way we can make room for additional colonists to... Uh, Start making food. Unfortunately, there's a giant asteroid there, but it could mean, uh, well, it's like a little pond now, so it could mean uh, water soon enough, uh, or actually farming could go next to that perfectly. More fertile soil. That might be where it's coming from. Okay, I hear a little bling from here and there. Oh, wandering merchant is here. All right, sir, what do you got for us? Eight metal parts. That might be a good start for us. Or medicine for 12 firewood. I'm going to go with metal parts here for 11 wood. That's a good deal. That'll really help us to start our initial building of electrical, uh, like solar panels and wind uh, windmills and things. All right, let's go over here. Hopefully we can find another uh, cane crane plash. <laughs> Hopefully one of those are around here. Let's see. We're going to stop at the electronics store, then go through, uh, grab some metal components and then head back home and then as for the ladies they're pretty good out here just staying out on their own for a little while longer looks like we still need to move them though so let's go to uh, let's have you grab the rest of the goods there there we go Ooh, still lots of food there actually a lot of canned fruit good alright so let's see Looks like everybody's doing a good job of gathering all their resources. Could do a little better in the concrete department, but I think it's still pretty solid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. We have two teachers. Don't need that. Let's just have the one school going. Could put two people on the sawmill and the logging camp to double down on clearing in the forest. And then we could just reassign that uh, logging camp to be on the other side, and they'll just have to take the logs over here. It's totally fine. And unless you use the forestry building, that's exactly what you're supposed to use log mills for. All right, back over here. More food. Well, we're going to be bringing back a lot of food. That's great. Both uh, teams have discovered quite a bit. Grab the rest of the components. Excellent. All right. So now the tool shop is ready to go for more production if needed. Sitting at 39 tools, though, with some being brought back, so we're fine with that being shut down. Eight parts. Uh, I think we might be able to top off our... Let's see. We might be able to start some production of electrical uh, whatnots. I think we can, actually. Uh, we'll start with some basic windmills. 
In order to build the part shop, which we need in order to, uh, the mechanic shop, we need electricity. And vice versa, we'll need parts in order to make... Kind of goes in, in order like that. Oh, perfect. This is enough for us to build one wind turbine. And then with this... Oh, actually, solar panels make a lot less power, but they don't require parts. So let's build our windmill over here. I'll build it like... Uh, I want to try to build it somewhere where it looks correct. I guess we'll maybe put over here by the river or the lake. So we'll build that there, then we'll put our mechanics shop over here somewhere so we can keep making more parts to make more power until we get enough upgrades to get better power plants. Let's actually keep looking with the guys, because now I feel like we're going to find a, um, I feel like we might find a museum. And I'd like to actually find more research points rather than heading back to base. That is death. Do not go there. That would be immediate death. Don't even do it. Alright, let's see. Uh, the diner's cleared. Team, uh... Team Lady Fam has uh, discovered another... Uh, she's a very bad scavenger, but she's a very good fighter. So if we find anybody blocking the way of a... Um, of like a uh, research site, we're good to go. Sometimes the bandits do occupy museums and research sites. Oh, it looks like somebody has radiation sickness. That's right, they can go to the camp uh, doctor for that one. Ah, good. Survivors at the gate. Wonderful. We might need to start building some more... Uh, Good, I will definitely take those survivors. We might need to start building some more homes soon. Let's take a look. Uh, it's getting pretty close to full. I think our next group, when they come, will have to build another house. But let's just use what we've got for now. And I don't know if any of them were sick or not, but we'll just leave two doctors in there for now and let's go ahead and fulfill all the jobs. Let's make sure everything's got uh, fully filled. Let's see. Scrapper. Hmm... Yeah, I don't need those. Actually, if we just leave these people to their own devices, they will eventually gather all these resources that uh, are around. Go there. Oh, somebody died of an infection. All right, first rip then, boys, down below in that comment section. Let's get a rip for Scarlett Johansson. She's passed away today. It's tragic. All yeah, right. Yeah, it's very rare for somebody to die unless there's, like, an epidemic going on. Okay, let's see here. Or like meteor strikes or something. Let's go ahead and build our machine shop here. And then I'd like to gather the rest of these, uh, gather those. Okay. And this one's actually full, so we probably won't gather much from there. But let's just gather the rest of the stuff at camp. Clean out this area, and then we'll, it'll help us to build a little bit better. Let's check the world map. Everybody's ready to move again. All right, let's move. Uh, oh, it seems like another area we can't scout, which is weird. It's like a huge mountain pass. Kind of weird. Should be no problem for that one, but I guess that's a bug that'll have to be worked out because there's clearly nothing stopping us from scouting terrain that's similar to this terrain here. Because when we can scout it, you can see the gray uh, binoculars, but if we can't, there's a red dot, and we should be able to move to this position with the same number of moves. Weird. All right, well, let's go scout over here, then. And Team Lady Bros, let's uh, grab the rest of your stuff here. Both of you. It's going to take quite a few trips to grab all those components. But luckily, after they come back from camp, or to camp, we'll never need components for a very, very long time. Again, another resource you can't build, but it is a resource that is plentiful, especially if you find, like, a... If you find, like, one plane crash and an electronics store, you are good to go. All right, so now we are making, let's see, 14 power plus, uh, oh, somebody's at the gate. Hold on a second. Oh, damn. Oh, if we would have given them three meat, we could have traded for 100 research. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Apparently, we didn't have three meat. Let's take a look at the food. Oh, we turned it all into meat meals. They want raw meat. Oh, that... Please, my children need some food. Well, we can we can give them a meat meal, of which we have 92, but we don't necessarily have... Uh, hopefully in the future the developers just update that, and if, if, for example, the quest just requires food, then, you know, whether it's raw meat or actual meat, like, apparently it should be more like, hey, we're trying to have a barbecue, do you have any raw steaks? Um, sorry, we have uh, some dinty more and a uh, banquet meal. Oh, okay, well, we're out of here. Like, okay. Sorry. He's glancing at disbelief. Well, I'm sorry we didn't have the dinty more stew, or rather the raw steaks that you wanted. Well, that's kind of a shame. All right. Well, doesn't matter. It'll be updated for the future, I'm sure. 
So that way you don't have to turn away people for something like that. Because beggars can't be choosers, especially in the apocalypse. If you uh, went to some gates of some camp and you were like, Hi, uh, do you have any mineral water? And they're like, uh, well, we just have uh, pure distilled water. Ah, uh, thanks. Anyway, bye. Oh, do you have any cu cucumber water? Uh, no? Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, so it looks like we've got uh, eight there remaining. All right, boys, start scouting. Okay, wow, there are too many of these electronic stores, but the lumber I will take, that's always useful. All right, we'll keep scouting with the boys then until we find another museum, same with the ladies, and uh, once we've got that, we'll head back to base. Luckily, 100 research isn't too much. If it were like uh, 200 or closer to 200, I would have been like, ooh, but 100's not so bad. All yeah, right. So now we should be able to make... Uh, actually, I want to upgrade... Let's see. The next thing I want to do is actually make more power. So 250. So we still would have been short about uh, 50 uh, research points. So with the uh, upgraded research... Or no, actually, energy production 2 is what I want. I want to build the large wind turbines so that way we can start producing things like the, uh, uh, the environmental station. Much easier to do that if you have to build just one power source. That way, if a magnetic storm comes, which the next disaster probably will be... Uh, when a magnetic storm comes, we should be able to, uh, you know, have less damage. Being able to repair those is pretty fast and effective, so long as you just have the one. Okay, uh, let's see. Junk is at 72, and we're making a lot of parts out of that, so that's good. And we'll be able to uh, make tons of stuff out of all that part, all the parts. Onto the junk. Okay, let's see. I'm over here. Let's start working over on this area. Clear that out for the trapper. We'll work one area at a time. More concrete ruins there. Specialist ready to work. Alright, let's see. Well, we've had some great discoveries here, including that town. So we'll have to discover now how to go to the trading menu, which I believe has something to do simply with uh, building a trading post. That's also death. No, we're, no, no way are we going there. Uh, the ladies have eight more to gather here. And let's check nearby. Okay. So let's check. I don't I don't see a trading tab anywhere at the moment. Oh, here's trade. Okay, I was going to say, maybe we have to research. But there it is. Uh, let's see. But we don't really need any of these things. Society's encountered one. Active trade routes. Ah, so we can have a uh, trade route set up. Unfortunately, we don't need metal, and we don't really need parts now that we're making our own. Build more trade centers to accept the offer. Okay, so they're offering. We just need to build a trade center in order to do it. Uh, in order to do that, though, I assume that we need to have first um, the... What is it? Is there a one for trading? Frontier Outpost, Disaster Forecast, Medical Center, Reinforced Gate. Uh, did they remove it? There used to be something for bartering. Oh, did they... I must be missing this. Oh, there it is, bartering number one. Ah, there it is, the Trade Center. Okay, I was going to say, did they remove that? Uh, but not a good trade deal for now, so let's save the points for electricity. But if we happen to find a town that's really got something good, we'll research that and immediately build a trade center. But right now we don't need to trade for metal. That is so cool. So not only do we have almost, almost fi finite researches, uh, points for uh, research. Oh, what is this? One fish? We don't have one fish? Again, we're making it all into meals. Wait, we have two fish. What the hell? That's not right. We have two fish in storage. Food... Fish two. Except the computer minus one fish equals one fifty seven research. Well damn it. Well that's stupid. I'm trying to accept. That doesn't work. So I guess we'll have to just Darn it, now we've walked away from two things now due to food not being the appropriate type. All these picky eaters. Apocalypse, but I'm vegan. Do you do you have I'm a pescatarian. Do you have any non processed fish? Uh we have a fish fillet that Greg made this morning. Oh, is that wheat based product? Oh, I gotta go. And then proceeds to die in a ditch from starvation. Like, what the hell? Ah, oh, well. It's still funny, though. Okay, let's go over this way. Darn, that's a little annoying that we've missed out now on, like, 200 research. But don't worry. I'll start doing some of this offline now. So that way we can get all the uh, research and stuff out of the way. And then we can start claiming some more resources. So what I'm going to do after this episode is I'm going to work ahead a little bit in... Uh, building up the camp just a little bit, exploring just a little bit more. Don't worry, I'm not going to miss anything juicy. We won't do any bandit fights or anything other than just researching a few things. And then we'll come on back next time to build some advanced power uh, structures in the camp. 
and then also uh, doing some more research. So next time you see me, we should have maybe maybe a couple more uh, specialists too, you know, as time passes naturally in the game. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you click, tap, destroy, blow up that like button. Show your support as all this stuff is being suppressed by Coppa and Susan and YouTube. And, you know, everybody who thinks they know what you should be watching. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll see you all next time. I am glad you watched this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.